Man, I told you we should have not taken that van. Well, what are we gonna do, man? Our next stop is Springfield, Missouri. And my friend Kyle's there. He's working on a Viking funeral for the people that we used to be. And it's gonna be really cool if we can get there. Like boats, fire, flaming arrows? Yeah, the whole thing. Maybe we should do one of those for that van. Too soon, man. Too soon. Like confettis and cupcakes and mouses wearing hats. <laughs> and I want us to get to that. <laughs> well, with the van broken down, rest in pieces, we got another ride and headed to Springfield, Missouri. One of Brad's good friends lived there, Kyle Sheely. Kyle is lots of things. Artist, cardboard enthusiast, inventor, and here's his bike riding centaur costume. A few years ago on his birthday, he had a funeral for his 20s. Now Kyle wanted to have another one. A funeral where people can let go of the people they used to be. That way, they can become the people they're supposed to become. When we met up with Kyle, we got to hear him speak. You know, you have to let go of the past in order to move on to the future. Because I, I, I really believe that there's two of us inside of each of us. The person that we want to be, our hopes and our dreams and our aspirations, and then we have the person that we used to be. You write down something you want to let go of. You write down whatever that is. It could be a regret, it could be a mistake, it could be something that you believed about yourself that's limiting. Write it down on a note card. The cards that you fill out today will go in the Viking ship. When it is done, probably in a few months, I will put all of the cards in, all the thousands and thousands and thousands of cards that have come in into the ship and uh, shoot flaming arrows into this thing and set it on fire um, as this symbolic act of let's let go of all the stuff that held us back so that we might reach out and become the people that we want to be. It was really powerful to hear some of the things that other kids put in the biking shit. It put being scared of roller coasters. I'm always kind of like afraid to do my own thing. Cause sometimes I may have like a good idea, but I'm just like nervous to tell it on what people would think. I always feel like I'm never enough for anyone. So I guess I'm just afraid of like being different and not in a good way. Things I want to do instead I pick the safe option instead of going for things I know I should. It's good to get those things out there because there's other people that are dealing with the same thing. And I just want to be myself and not try to be what everybody else wants me to be. It'll be really nice to just kind of like think about that it's behind me. Yeah, I definitely think that our worst enemy is ourself. I used to worry what others thought about me and that I wasn't good enough, but the, all that stuff isn't true. And I believe that I'm the best I can be and I will always be the best I can be. I decided to um, really use Kyle's project as a kind of curriculum to teach to younger students. Got, I think, close to 200 in here. There are a lot of themes that repeat themselves and as my partner Addie and I sat down and read some of these after we were done with our project, we were just so moved by all of the things that were written down, all kinds of things that were said differently, but echoed the same ideas over and over and over again. People were really honest with us. It made us want to be honest with our own stuff. Ladies right. and gentlemen, what you are about to see has not been seen by anyone except for me and some of my friends, and also I posted a bunch of pictures on Instagram. <laughs> okay, but besides that, you are the first people in the world to see the Viking ship. Ladies and gentlemen, can I get a drum roll, please? Dun, 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 dun! Oh, that's amazing! How? I don't understand. <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! Seeing that Viking ship up close was crazy, man. But the coolest thing about that Viking ship is the way it's gonna help people. People have asked me, like, 
after spending all this time on this, are you going to be sad to see it burn? There's something about letting go of something. I mean, letting go of this enables me to go pursue other projects and start new things and try. I have so many other ideas that I want to do. So I think that I will feel a sense of gratitude for this journey because that's what I feel now. And I think that um, when, when the fire starts and starts to build, I'll probably just lose it. I'll probably be just weeping because um, it, it's been a real gift to be a part of this. If you keep your hands closed with the past, you'll never have them open for the future. I'm getting ready for the future. What about you? Uh, what are we gonna say on three, Kyle? Uh, burn it. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, burn it! Thousands of people have submitted their regrets and there's still time for you to do the same too if you wanted. Let's let go of who we used to be and become who we are meant to be.